Good morning. I'm about to take you guys on a crazy adventure on this Saturday morning. It is going to be a ride and I'll tell you about where we're going in a second. But first I wanted to say good morning from my 26 week bump. We've got breakfast going. I've got cereal. I've got my mom's dogs, Benji and Barney. It is pouring down raining outside and it is early. It's 730. We're going hands free. My wallet and we've got a water. Bye Benji. I know it's still a big mystery where we're going. Okay, so we're going to a store called Give Me a Five. And what this store is, is an Amazon return store. And every day of the week, they price their items. Everything is the same price, whether you find a phone case or a crock pot, it's all the same price on whichever day it is. So today is Saturday, so they have all brand new stuff, like fresh stuff from the back. So every single thing in the whole store is $5. And then every day in the week, it gets cheaper. The store gets pretty hectic because as you can imagine, people are trying to find the really, really good expensive stuff and only spending $5 on it. So everything is like thrown in bins and you just like dig and there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's all just thrown in there. I don't know how much I can film in there because like I said, it gets like really hectic and I'm not like a great filmer. I don't want to be like, oh, look at I'm filming everybody. You know, people get really testy about that in there. Now also it's always hit or miss. The day that I went a long, long time ago for $5 day, even though I wasn't in the market for any of that stuff, you could still tell that it was like really good stuff. Um, but then sometimes it's like not great stuff. They just buy Amazon pallets and they don't know what's on it and they just open up the pallets and spill it in the buckets. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna maybe find some treasures, maybe come out empty handed, but usually we're gonna have fun. <laughs> so wish me luck. Here is just a video of what the bins look like. Um, here's those wooden Ziploc bag holders, a Tervis kind of cup. A brand new baby food processor, a really cute cat water fountain, um, a lot of Indian stuff is always there. I found some really cool garland last time I was there and some Diaz, some cabinet organizers. Just to give you an idea, like you literally find everything that you see on Instagram. These are all over Instagram. You plug your iPads and your entire chargers into them, some nursing pads, which I did not get. Um, you see these all over Instagram. It takes the little fuzzy parts off of your sweaters. Um, and this was so cute. I ended up not getting it, but it was a really hard decision. Just like a tiny little radio. It was adorable, but I did not get it. Okay. It's okay, Tillon. I can get down on the floor by myself here. <laughs> Oh god, I need to adjust the camera. Okay, I'm home from a long day at Give Me a Five, and Telwin refused to be on camera to be part of my unboxing video, so I'll be speaking to you and you in the corner, sir. You can't get away from it. <laughs> this is the exciting part, trying to remember everything you bought and re-seeing it again. So, it's gonna sound funny because it looks like I have a lot of things, but today wasn't very successful. Not that I usually buy a lot of stuff, but usually I see a lot more quality things there. Today I didn't feel like the stuff was that quality, but the things that I got I'm very excited about. So let's unbox or unwrap. And at the same time, I'm also going to be pulling up my items on Amazon so I can see and show you guys the value of what I got. So let's see, amazon.com. Okay, cool. So I've got my computer. Let's do the first thing. Okay, um, first, the cutest thing. This is actually the first thing that I saw that I actually knew I wanted to get. This is unopened, which is hard to find. So I don't think I made this very clear. Everything is new. It's not they're returned items, so they might have been opened, but it's not like you see things that are like 
used. Um, you see things that are missing parts. So this box is completely unopened and it's Lego. So that's really rare. Um, so that's very exciting. It's dented, but completely unopened. It's the Lego Creator Rabbit set. And you can actually also make a bird and a little sea otter out of it as well. So you have three options to make. A couple of years for my baby's Easter present. That'd be so cute. Legos never go out of style ever. So got that. It was brand new. I thought that was really cute. So let me look it up. Do you like a little tally for me? Please? Okay, I'll tell you. Remember, everything today was $5. Okay, so that is on Amazon for $19.40. Okay, these are really cool. So the other thing about the Amazon return store is there is a testing spot with a lot of outlets, but so certain things you can test. Um, some things that are Wi-Fi enabled, you just gotta hope that they work. I got, and most of the things come in these bags like this. This is like the Amazon return distribution bag. So these did not come in a box, they came in a bag. These are puck lights to cut, put underneath a cabinet. It's a set of six puck lights and they do work. I tested them in the store. They're like motion activated and there's a sensor and they're all Bluetooth connected. They're completely wireless. They came with a charger. Um, which I'm also surprised that everything was there because not everything is always there. <laughs> and I'll show you what I mean later. Um, so puck lights with remotes and they charge. They're not battery operated. Um, so it's six puck lights and they are easy Valio and it is $75 for six puck lights a remote control, and this charger that can charge three at a time. This is kind of cool. Okay, every every item I pull out, I have a learning statement to say with it about the Amazon return store. So, this. You might be thinking, what the heck is that? Now let me show you the other side of it. And you might still be thinking, what the heck is that? And so what I did and what I often do is I kind of had a hunch what it was. I wasn't exactly sure. Each one is kind of bowl shaped, but they're not bowls because they would wobble. Google Lens is your friend at the Amazon return store because there's no boxes. There's nothing on this bag tells you what it is. But I was right. These are play um, for children play stepping stones. So there's like six here and the kit, they're non-slick, non-skidding. They're each different sizes and they all have different textures and the kids like put them around and then they like jump on them like the play floor is lava. You learn a lot and you find out a about a lot of different products that you had no idea existed. There's a very similar set for $40, $70, $45, $90, that's not my set. These, these things are pretty expensive. Montessori learning tools are like super on trend right now. So I'm gonna say that these are $40. This isn't the exact set that I have, but it's close enough. And that's pretty cool. If I would have had those as a kid, I would have had so much fun. And now that I'm having a boy, I think that boy is gonna like it. I might not like it happening in my house. I'll have to send him outside to do it, but fun for $5, right? You walk in, you get an Ikea bag. There's no carts. And we also have a two bag limit, which is good and bad because it protects the little people like me who go shopping for myself because people go in and they are crazy. They're like shoving everybody out of the way because they resell everything on Amazon or on eBay. So they like are super territorial. They're shoving everything. They don't even look at what it is. They just like shove it in their bag and they're really rude about it. That's why I really don't have very many videos of me being in there because it's kind of scary. <laughs> um, but today was really calm, which you can tell everybody thought that it was kind of a dud day because there were no fights and there were no like people shouting rules and things. Anyway, next thing. Oh, I'm really excited about this. So the other thing is because you know, 
I'm on Instagram and you know, you see TikTok and everything, you also see things that you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that like, I wanted that, but I did see an influencer talking about it, and now that I can get it for $5, I kind of want it. This is a dry toe mini, and what it is is a little stone. It has little feet that you screw into it. It's a stone, and you put it next to your sink, and you put your soap on here, and it absorbs water right away. And I don't know about your husband, but my husband has water everywhere. It's like a swimming pool next to my sink, so I think that this will help a little bit. I'm pretty excited about that. This is $30 on Amazon. Oh, I'm super excited about this. And it is jackpot. Tell and look, four smart light bulbs. Ah! You know, smart light bulbs, they just connect with any of your smart home devices. They're so great. They're kind of pricey. You know, there's a billion brands on Amazon. So right now, just off the bat, I'm seeing a set of four of a different brand. It's $33.99. So we'll just go with that for right now. But a set of four. Now this is an example of something that maybe, maybe won't work because there's no outlet. So I can't, there's no um, light bulb. So I can't be 100% sure that these work, but I'd say I have pretty good luck. So for $5, I wanted to take a chance on those because why not? Okay, next. Okay, this one, it's not an Apple Watch. Don't get excited, but it looks just like one. So funny story. Oh God, baby. Tellwin has a Halo, an Amazon Halo smartwatch. Amazon Halo is going extinct. They are completely cutting off the app in a few months. So he's going to be smart watchless. And um, so I picked up this and I did not think it was going to be in the box because I've never found anything like actual before. Now, come on. I know that this is only worth like $25 or 40 at the most. I, it's not an Apple watch, but it's rare that it's actually in there it's here and when I tapped it it turned on yeah it turns on see so I called him to see if he even like wanted it because of course it doesn't I don't know if it like does text messages but it does like do phone calls it control your music you know it tracks your sleep so it's pretty cool so let me see it goes along with the grow fit app I think and the directions are here. That's very, very rare. Usually there's like scavengers and they, they just take the item out of the box because they're trying to save space in their bag. Glory Fit app. Glory Fit app smart watch. Okay, I don't know if this is the exact one, but this is for sale for $39.99 on Amazon. So we'll just go with that for now. Not bad for $5. And there's, it comes with a black watch band. And if it's too cool, I can switch it out to the white watch band because you know the old saying, finders keepers. So if I get jealous, I'll just keep it for myself. <laughs> Tell him, are you excited about your watch? He said yes. Well, I paid for this out of my bank account. <laughs> He said sometimes payers keepers, but I had paid out of my own bank account for this. My pre Telwin bank account <laughs> paid for these items. Well, you don't know the rhyme or reason when I use my bank account versus your bank account. <laughs> oh, Father's Day is coming up. I'm just going to hide this and pretend like Telwin didn't see it. Uh, okay, am I down to my last item? Oh, okay, this one. Oh, this one hurts my heart, but I'm gonna make it work. But it's it's a difficult story. This one, Tillman doesn't know about. He's, his eyeballs are gonna pop out of his head when he sees this. In a bad way, not in a good way. <laughs> you don't know what this is yet? It's got a strap. Plus this. Now, do you know what it is? It's a leaf blower. It's Amazon quality. It's like two pounds. 
This is a classic story of the Amazon return store. So I'm walking thinking, oh, nothing is here. And then I see this baby and I'm like, oh, what is that, a leaf blower? And I had a flashback to yesterday when I swept the entire sidewalk in like, shh, in like 70 degree weather, which is hot when you're six months pregnant. This would be amazing to own for $5. But I had a hunch that because it was still there, it was assembled in the bin. I'm like, well, if none of the reseller pillagers have taken it, clearly there's something wrong with it. And there is, there's no battery with it. So three bins down the line, I found the box. But when I read the box, it comes with two batteries and it comes with a charging cord and a carrying strap, which you notice is on here, but the carrying strap wasn't on there and neither was the box was, was empty. So at the moment I had an empty box and a leaf blower. So later on, I found the strap for it. And then even later, this is literally the correct charger that goes with it that I found in a random bin. So now I have the box, the strap, the charger, and the leaf blower. I went through every single bin again. I did not find the batteries, but I looked up buying a battery and it's only like, I think I can buy a battery for this for $27. Not so bad. Oh, I didn't even tell you, like the reason why I tried so hard, this leaf blower is $118. So yeah, I'm gonna find the battery for $27 and I'm gonna blow my sidewalk instead of sweeping it and I'm gonna have the time of my life. Yeah, that's all I've got today. Not so bad. Okay, let's do a quick tally. That's seven items. Okay guys, I paid $35 for all seven of these items and my total of products is $357.35. Is this an unboxing video? I who am I, an influencer now? I don't know. I'll see you guys next time and maybe with another haul. Let me know.